In this how to, we are going to learn that how to perform custom validation in ASP.NET. Custom validation is very very useful in case you have a, a specific type of validations to do that cannot be performed using the ASP.NET inbuilt validation controls. For example, you have to check whether the value being entered into the text box is odd or even. It means that whether it is an odd number or even number. This kind of validations you cannot do using the ASP.NET validation controls. Now here what we have is we have a label where we will add some uh, message and then we have a text box where we are saying that enter even number and then we have a required field validator to make sure that user is writing something into the text box and because we want to check for the even number to be entered into the text box so we have used custom validator and we have written the, we have associated this custom validator with the text box and we are saying that the client validation function should be checked for more because this custom validation doesn't have its own logic inbuilt so we will have to specify the logic into the javascript that it will use to check whether the the control is passing its validation or not so that's why we have to specify the function that will be called by this custom validator in the client side so we have written that client validation function is equal to check for mode and once we have specified the client validation function then we will have to specify to declare that javascript function so here i have declared javascript function check for mode and that by default accepts a source and argument as two parameter and here what we have done is that we have we have first got the text box element value and we are div, uh, we are getting its mode by writing element means the value div, uh, and percentage and two and that will basically gives us the mode and if the mode is equal to zero then we will have to return arguments dot is valid argument is the second part meter and is valid equal to true when arguments dot is valid will be true then what will happen is that this custom validator will come to know that okay this function or this validation function has passed it means that data that is being entered into the text box is fine and if not means if mode is not equal to zero means it is not of even number then it will return false and then this custom validator will know that okay there is something wrong with this data so it will simply show the error message and then we have also specified on server validate function on server validate function will also do the same it will also check for mode and for that we will have to specify a server side method so let me specify a server side method here so let me copy and paste it yes now in the in, in the server side check for mode also we are doing the same thing first we are getting the value of the text box and then we are uh, getting the mode of the text box value and then we are checking if it is equal then we are writing e dot is valid equal to true and if it is not then we are writing is dot is valid equal to false and then we are writing message saying that sorry please sorry please enter even numbers only now you may ask a question that we have already specified client side validation function then why to specify server side validation function this is to make sure that in case a client who is using our application doesn't have javascript enabled then this will not work so in that case what will happen our server side validate method will work and it will also make sure that the data being entered into the text box is even not odd so this is the simple logic that I have implemented in the similar way you can implement your own logic uh, to validate your a specific type of data so let me run this page and here is the uh, page now let me enter here 5 now 5 is naturally not an even number so it should give me a message enter only even number now if I will enter 6 it is even number so it should simply 
submit the data on the server you can see that the form has been submitted on the server so using the custom validator control we can validate a text box value for a specific type or for a specific data that cannot be done using the inbuilt validation controls now uh, till now in all other validation controls we have seen they basically display the error message just beside them or wherever you will keep those validation controls now there might be a scenario where you want to display all the validation field errors in the alert box or javascript alert box or just below the uh, form or just above the submit button as a summary that okay what all kind of validation has failed so in order to do that we can use the validation summary control and let me show you how to do that so here is my uh, ASPX page code let me copy paste okay and now let me format it out so that it will look nice and we have one text box called txt name we have required field validator for that text box to make sure that that text box is mandatory or that field is mandatory to be filled and then we also have uh, uh, another text box called address and that is also mandatory and then we have another text box called age and that is also basically man mandatory as you can see here yes and then what we have done is that we have kept one validation summary control and uh, in that validation summary control what we have done is that we have written show message box equal to true when show message box will be true then you, uh, you will notice that all the validation error that has occurred here will come into the javascript alert box and show summary equal to true so if so summary will be true then all the validation control will be listed at once at just above the button control in the last we have a button control that basically submits the data on the server or submit the forms on the server so let me run this page now and here okay looks like this is not required here so I'm just removing that in fact this is also not required because we have not specified any click event of the button okay so let me run this page again and you will see that I have three text boxes and when I'm clicking on submit button it is all it is displaying the alert enter your name enter your address enter your age as well as it is showing me the list of errors as the summary apart from displaying here now if I will not use the validation summary control then we will notice that all the errors will be displayed just beside the text boxes where all those controls has been written ok now if so summary will be false then you will see that the summary will not be displayed here only alert box will come see here and if the so message box will be false then you will see that the javascript alert box will not be displayed here you can see here only summary is being displayed and these error messages comes for every uh, validation control it can be required field validator it can be compare validator it can be custom validator or it can be a re uh, regular expression validator as well so validation summary control is used to consolidate all the errors that has occurred on the page <coughs> as part of the form validation and show them at one place or in the form of alert 